Moving on, Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mr. Wale Edun, has urged Nigerians to remain calm as President Tinubu's renewed hope economic policies aim to address the current economic crisis following removal of fuel subsidy. The minister is speaking at a quarterly news briefing titled Economic Recovery and Growth, Progress and Prospects 2024 noted that the ultimate aim of the renewed hope economic policy is to drastically reduce food inflation and create an enabling environment for huge investments. Our correspondent, Ogundana Eniola, tells us more. Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mr. Wale Edu, in his address, said reforms of President Tinubu are yielding fruits as growth in economic activities in the first quarter of 2024 is the second fastest first quarter growth in the last six years. He noted that several government initiatives and interventions are being implemented to increase affordable food supply. Despite the difficulties, the economy in Nigeria grew faster in the first quarter of 2024 compared to 2023. And we must all be encouraged by the fact that even with the ongoing reforms, reforms where the cost comes first, you take the medicine first and then you get the benefit after. The benefits have already started to be seen. Economic activity in the first quarter of 2024, as we say, was not only faster than in Q1 2023, but is the second fastest first quarter, first quarter growth in the last six years. And it was broad based. The growth is broad based agriculture, um, industries, services. Several government initiatives and interventions are being implemented to increase the supply of food in particular. As we know, the consumer price index is 50% food. Mr. Edun also noted that the current economic reforms have brought a significant increase in government revenue and has helped in achievement of micro and macroeconomic stability. A review that the federal government has paid the 7.3 trillion naira visa means loan to the CBN in a move to achieve debt payment sustainability. We are pleased that the efforts so far are gaining traction. Aggregate federal government revenue in the first half of 2024 was more than double the, that of the corresponding period in 2023. And it's a sign of the reconfiguration and the improvement that has been achieved by applying technology, reconfiguring the processes of government finances, internally generated revenue. The government has diligently serviced all its loans and obligations with no recourse to ways and means financing. The government has met all its obligations. It is not relying on ways and means. We know how inflationary that can be. And not, we are talking not just about international debt service. We are talking about domestic debt service as well. 7.3 trillion Naira has been, has been uh, in obligations, has been uh, dealt with, paid back this year. The news briefing aims to sensitize the public on the performance and prospects of the nation's economy and guide Nigerians on favorable financial decisions. From Nation's Capital, Ogudan Neola, ADBN News.